Hi, this is the second product made on the CNC spindle turning process. I have to make quite a few score of these parts out of a settle and I usually manually rough machine them all and let them settle overnight for the stresses in the acetyl to relax and then finish turn them but having to make scores of them this time I was dreading manually machining them so it was an ideal job to do in the little spindle turning process that I'm getting involved in now. So again it's uh, just a single station of a turning tool with a scallop in the top rake. It seems to be breaking the chips fairly well and I've made up a little gang tooling block a bit like the Tormark blocks for their slant bed lathe that just has some stations uh, for the TTS tool holders. These are at uh, 70 millimeter pitch so I can program it easily and um, this time I just manually programmed the code and um, it's not perfect but it's good enough for uh, this sort of work. In the last video I was running an 80mm chuck on this same back plate but this time I've mounted a bigger chuck, the 125 or 5 inch chuck on the back plate and you can see the three bolt holes there, they're actually slightly clearance and it's got a floating system so that you can just nip them up and clock the part dead true and then tighten them up and that's a, a quick way of getting a very accurate repeatability on the chuck um, and also modified the chuck to get the maximum capacity I bored the bore inside the chuck out to 33 millimeters so I could do this type of work and ground the outer step of the jaws off so that it, the jaws aren't so good for holding small parts but then I've got my smaller chuck for doing that work but they're better suited for turning holding large parts because they don't project out from the chuck unnecessarily just looking for quick ways to set the part up to length my friend Tony today just came up with this idea of a little setting gauge I can just drop the part into each time and that should save a wee bit of time get it really accurate. Oh, while I've got the chuck here, I was, in the video I was, uh, some of you are concerned about the size of the chuck spinning at that revs. Well I, I spun it up to 2000 RPM yesterday and um, it seems fine. Uh, there's no vibrations and um, I, I would be hesitant about putting a big piece of steel in there with heavy cuts obviously but um, light cuts in steel or cuts in plastic or aluminium I'm pretty confident are okay up to 2000 revs. While on that subject of spinning a large chuck, a 5 inch chuck in a 1100mm spindle, um, just a warn warning, a safety caution really, that although I'm confident that it's okay for my work you'd need to arrive at that conclusion yourself. Um, there are obvious risks involved um, if a chuck like that came loose. I would imagine it would be unsafe to mount a chuck like that using the TTS 3 quarter inch shank. It really needs a, an R8 shank and I've made my own R8 shank which is screw cut onto the steel disc and again it's a tight fit screw cut but if I were to run that spindle it in reverse suddenly it might decide to unscrew and there's probably other things that could go wrong um, so this is um, using the machine in, a, in an unintended way so you need to think carefully about the consequences before you rush into anything here just a, just a word of warning um, to think things through a word of caution okay